Hi everybody, this is Steve from Conductive Labs and we're going to look at the MRCC internal clock and how that works. So if you turn the encoder on the main menu, we can get over to extras and the first extra is called MRCC clock. You'll notice here we've got the um, beats going uh, in time with the clock and the clock's going really slow right now and by the way, LED4, the red in LED4 in this prototype isn't working, so that's why it's not lit. But let's talk about um, how clock works. So clock is like having an input. So right now, if you choose any of these inputs, nothing happens. But if you choose an output like this, now what's happening is the internal clock is going out that port. We have um, port number five plugged into the PC, and we're monitoring it with... Um, right there with MIDI aux. So if I turn that on, you'll see clock messages start to come. And so that's how we send out our clock. You can scroll down or cursor down to the various uh, things like the, this is the enable button and you can disable, you can see it stopped in MIDI aux and re-enable. You can come down here and rotate for your beats per minute. And if you hold down the shift button, you can go by 10, so it's quick. Now you can see it's going really fast. Uh, you could send this out to multiple ports just by doing that. So if you are using the MRCC as your main clock and no other source, and you've got um, outputs defined, you can send that clock out to USB outputs as well as 5-pin outputs. And that's how you would route the clock. Oops, there you go. Now it's going nowhere. Well, we send it back out here. And let's see, if we scroll down to tick on stop, which is yes, which is on yes right now, if we say no, then you'd have to actually come up here and use the stop start continue buttons. So it stopped when you start the MRCC. If you hit that, now it'll start. And you noticed the actual message came through. If we go back to stop button and click it, you'll see the stop message was the last message that was sent. So what this means is some sequencers prefer, or some sequencers will stop the clock when you hit the stop button, and some sequencers will not stop the clock when you hit the stop button. So we just wanted to give you that option here. And then there is a notion of port filtering, so you can out, you can filter and any out port that you want, and one of the filters is clock, and this uh, parameter down here allows you to enable or disable whether it uh, is mindful of that setting. Um, when we have our um, our analog output here for um, clock, analog clock, you could also change, come up here, and change the PPQ from one, two, four, and 24. We just don't have the hardware on the prototype yet. And that's all about the, um, the clock. Thanks so much.